and we're back at the graveyard uh so um i've been here before this is the one where we had to change the outdoor txv and the compressor and that's where each individual distributor had to be removed from the coil uh so now apparently someone else came out here and diagnosed the reversing valve reversing valve is bad and uh, basically whenever it goes into defrost it just takes forever for it to shift so the whole coil ends up freezing up although it looks like it's been working fine right now but we're going to change out my very first uh reversing valve i've never changed one out so i'll show you how i fumble through it so here we go okay so we're recovering the refrigerant this thing holds 14 pounds of 410a uh that's our widow maker that's how we're powering it up so yeah all right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sweat this side off and then that side I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna put in a straight piece and then we'll put the new line dryer right here, which will be a lot easier. And we're gonna cut it as close to the joint as possible. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in a straight piece. So now that we have that cut out, we're gonna go ahead and deburr it. Now, to prevent any of stuff from going in there, we're going to be blowing nitrogen through there. Uh, that way, we don't get any metal flakes in there. That's the last thing we want. back in place and we will dry fit our straight piece in. Alrighty then so we're gonna need to cut this Wager in place. Okay, so far so good. fittings necessary. Okay, we deburred our little piece here and we switched that. So it's gonna go in just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down a little bit. So we wanna try to clean it up best we can. this towards it so there's pressure being pushed on our straight piece that way it doesn't pop out while we're brazing all right there we go all right so we're gonna go ahead and brace this up and I like to heat it up from the bottom the pipe is hot enough, it'll follow the heat to the bottom all the way around. Just like that. And it's already got the bottom of the on from the other side. Same deal. Get her up from the bottom. I'll just touch the top a little bit just to get it going. But mainly I'll stay on the bottom. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to braise this. We'll start with this one here and that one. I'm going to try. 
drive and do it the same way. Hit the, hit the heat from the bottom and then uh, melt it from the top. So we'll see. Here we go. Okay, cool. So I just checked all this with mirrors and everything seems to be good. So now we've got to sweat those three pipes off and then the bottom. So that should be interesting. Now I do have a lot of wiggle room with this one and a lot of wiggle room with the one going to the accumulator. After this one here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to move that. I might have to actually cut that one off. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Well, it looks like that was recording, but I got the middle one out. Um, I was heating up the, I was heating up the uh, one with the towel on out all the way to, the, to that side. And uh, a bunch of uh, oil just shot out into my face. So, didn't get any in my eyes, thank goodness. So I'm now wearing uh, safety goggles. So let's try this again. we got this thing out oh man what a pain so we're gonna go ahead and make a new elbow here we're gonna make a new one of these and then we'll just uh swedge it back on there just because yeah it was it did not want to come out so i have some extra seven eights so we're gonna take care of that so here we go okay so we got our wet rag all over this stuff uh, that way we don't burn up the uh seals inside there this is the part that's scary for me about uh these reversing valves, if you overheat it, you'll damage the new valve and then you're back to square one. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dry fit this thing and um, figure out how much we need to adjust for this and go from there. All right, it's in there. Hopefully they stay in there. That's my new piece right here. So hopefully we should be able to get it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and prep up and then uh, we're going to go ahead and braise this up. I'll probably start with the, with the half inch on the bottom uh, just to kind of keep things in place. And then I'm going to wedge something under there just so it doesn't fall or pop out. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a good idea.
Okay, so my phone has issues, doesn't want to always record. So we did get them all brazed in. Uh, hopefully I didn't overheat it. I did touch the body of it. It's not ridiculously hot, it's warm, but it's not like hot. So yeah, so we should be okay. So we're gonna pressurize this up with nitrogen as soon as they get all this uh, wet rag off of here. Alrighty then, so uh, we got her under nitrogen pressure. So far so good. You didn't hear any leaking or anything. So I think my brazes are good. So I'm gonna start uh, putting this thing back together and taking that off. And then if it holds, by the time I'm done, we'll go ahead and start the vacuum, go to lunch, and it should be done. And then we'll have to uh, do the painfully long process of recharging this unit. Because today it's about, uh, it's about 40 something degrees, maybe 50 degrees. I don't know, the sun came out, so it's nice. But it, I think the highs was 45 today. So yeah, sucks charging refrigerant when it's cold. All right, so we got her under vacuum, so I'm just gonna kind of clean up the stuff I don't need, go to lunch, and hopefully she'll be done. Okay, so we're charging the refrigerant in. We've got our vacuum down. I was able to get two, two and a half pounds in it, and then I, that was it. <laughs> it's just too cold out here. Uh, we're at uh, five pounds, and uh, yeah, our pressure's super low. In fact, my hose is freezing, and so is the suction line. So yeah, we're just gonna have to let it in this way. Um, and then I got my little trick here to speed up the process. We're going to be using our our little torch here to heat that tank up to speed up the process. So uh, we'll be back in like five hours. Yep, still going. I'm at 10 pounds. 10 out of 14. So I'm uh, hopefully I can get like uh, 12 pounds out of this thing because we're reusing the refrigerant, which I really hate doing, but it is what it is, especially the fact that it's 410A. Um, but I'm gonna try to get it to 12 pounds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put fresh refrigerant in there. Uh, but yeah, we're about 10.5, and uh, that's our pressure. So yeah, so by doing this, I'm increasing the pressure in the tank. Uh, the idea is to try to get the pressure higher than inside the unit. Uh, that way it'll move into the unit quicker. So this is what you do in low ambient conditions. Usually I like to use a heat gun, but I don't have a reliable electrical source, so uh, I'm doing this. So I just want to keep it moving so it doesn't burn the paint. But we're getting there. We're almost above freezing. And the reason why our suction line is freezing up on the inside is that's because I'm charging in liquid. Okay, you can see there, we still have a little bit of liquid. And so I'm cracking it. So uh, it's converting to from a liquid to a vapor, so it gets super cold. That's why that's freezing in, because the refrigerant going in there is super, super cold. Alrighty then, so we got 15 pounds in the thing. Um, it seems to be heating fine. So, yeah. So I'm not familiar with this board. I think these pins right here is where you set it to uh, go into defrost, but, um, yeah, I'm basically just going to jump out the uh, reversing valve just to make sure, but pretty sure it's good. So we're going to call it a day. Um, it's like cold and it's raining, as you can see, I have my umbrella set up. So anyway, um, I hope this helps you. Uh, this was my first time having to change out a reversing valve. Um, this one actually wasn't as bad as I thought, but I've seen some other ones that are like really bad. So I was lucky, I guess, for my first one. So anyway, I hope you liked this video and I hope it helps you if uh, you have to change out your first uh, reversing valve. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.